Welcome, Joe Nation, to another giveaway episode. This is my third giveaway now. Uh, I, as you know, if you've been around and watched my videos, that every other, maybe every third uh, Joe Pickups and uh, Trades video I do, I like to give something back to the community. Uh, like many collectors, I buy too much stuff, and I usually get doubles, triples, etc. So every once in a while, I'll give back. So as of the thumbnail, you've seen it. I can't find them at the moment. I know they're back there somewhere, but you saw it in the thumbnail. Two Mint on Card Joes, uh, the Mindbender and the uh, Destro will be this giveaway, as well as uh, a little bit of a surprise. Um, if you saw the last giveaway, uh, the second one, the second winner was uh, gracious enough to supply a few file cards uh, to me to give away. So, hey, why not? So there will be those file cards uh, added into this giveaway as well as a surprise. So, hey, who are you going to get? You'll have to try to win to find out. So, if you're new here or you need a refresher on uh, the way I do things, what we do is, uh, you know, watch the video, of course, and uh, leave a comment down below. Be sure to be subscribed or, you know, subscribe or be subscribed. Leave a comment down below and what that does is that'll enter you in the draw. Uh, oh my God, my camera's falling over. Uh, what I'll do at the end of, you know, week or two, depending on how long it takes, is I will run everyone's, you know, numbers. Uh, so if you're comment number one, you'll be entry number one, etc. Uh, all the way down and... Uh, I'll run it through random.org and uh, I'll do a little video and we'll pick the winner. Uh, currently, it's just gonna be the one winner for the two Minter cards and the file cards. But hey, who knows? Maybe I'll feel gracious and I'll give away a second prize like I did last time. So for now, uh, what I have right now is 226 subscribers. Uh, I'm looking to, let's try to get that to 250 this time. I mean, if we can't hit it, but we get close, okay, I'll go for it. But let's try to get what is that 24 new subscribers and let's try to get 30 comments again i think 30 comments 30 entries is pretty fair uh to give away a couple uh mocs and hey good luck don't forget to share it you know let everybody know i'll be sharing on the clubs you know px uncensored uh the canadian clubs wherever you come from I'm going to be sharing it. Don't forget, this is straight up free, mailed to you. I'll take care of everything. Just watch the video, give it a like, uh, leave a comment, and uh, feel free to check out some of my older videos. I got lots of older Joe Pickups videos uh, and trades all from the sites. Just don't mind my uh, sounding kind of less than knowledgeable. It's been a long time, especially in those older videos. I couldn't remember a lot of the Joe stuff I was getting back. So, uh, hey, it's worth a laugh, though. So give him a check out. Feel free to support. And I'll talk to you next time. Peace. What's up, Joe Bros? Oda King Live coming at you again for another free hand Friday, because you know they always are. Joe pickups and trades and buys. Uh extravaganza with uh with luna the cat so what we got here today is we got i don't even remember i know one's a purchase this one was a trade i think this one was a purchase slash trade and the box of goodies right there was just straight up purchase so i already got into this because i couldn't remember what it was these two are still sealed that one I went through and uh, already put a post on the G.I. Joe Collectors Club about needing parts. Didn't get, uh, only got one or two bites though, so I might have to go to PX on that one. But uh, for now, I got to rip into these two, and if you know, you know, the Joe Bros, they like to tape tape the good tape the good bejesus out of some of these. So I got to uh, slice into some of these bad boys, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and as you can tell, uh, we got this one open and this one open. This one was a nightmare. Um, that taping job was super thick and it required a little bit of extra effort from Mr. Knife. So we'll uh, put him away and we will crack a lacquer. So first one, this was just a one piece trade. I couldn't figure out for the life of me what was in this thing because it's very thick, like it's thick cardboarded. 
I was like, what is this? Is it a DVD? Like, why is it so huge? So, if we rip into this bad boy, it's quite the interesting little operation. So even when I got it open, I was like, what in the hell is that? So underneath is just pure cardboard. We got the tapes, we got some more cardboard inside. I mean, I appreciate this, but this might have been, this might have been a little overboard. Um, for you know for what it actually is so once you rip the tape off on a few of the different sides you bust it open and look at this stuff inside a bag with a cutout insert for the gun to sit inside so that it doesn't get squished right so even if you put pressure on it it's it's the most elaborate thing I've ever seen in my life I mean it's amazing don't get me wrong but uh, it's just a chin gun for the rolling thunder and um, this is kind of a, uh, was annoying part to find. Now it's just the missile carousel that I need. But um, that was annoying to find. So I couldn't believe the effort that went in to shipping that thing. So finally I can put that away now. And uh, I've been waiting to do this video for like two weeks. And I can finally put it, put it away. And not have to have it sitting down by my chair anymore. So this one, that was a purchase. I think I, I, think I paid like 10 bucks for it. I don't remember. This was a trade um, with a newer member on the G.I. Joe Collectors Club. Uh, maybe even his first trade. I don't remember. Oh my god. Um, I did not ship my first trade or two trades even in nearly as good uh, quality. So shout out to this guy for really knowing apparently what he was... Look at this. How was this your first trade? Because this is... Uh, Unbelievably good. Is my Galobolus supposed to be missing his bottom half? I don't know. Oh, those are Rattler canopies. Forgot about those. I guess I should get into some of these bags a little sooner than uh, weeks later because I think I've done another deal for another one. I don't think I need it. Um, I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else in this bag but a bunch of tore up paper I might have to go through that uh, just for the double check because I honestly don't remember even what the trade was for I remember I traded like something like five guys for five guys I don't remember um, we got the the Ninja Force Scarlet here again really impressive with bubble wrap and everything I mean I probably just stuck it in the box with the with all that so uh, above and beyond again here um, I have her on card but I don't have one loose so it was nice to get one loose she looks nice too. And uh, this is, uh, I don't know, what is this, Frostbite version 3 or something weird? I think I already have this guy. I don't even know. Um, these ones that seem to make like 10 different versions of this guy that all look very similar. And um, whatever, there's like an orange one and a yellow one. Now, this I believe is a front rattler canopy. So that's very cool. Because uh, now I just need, I guess, a gunner one for my Tiger Force one. I hope they fit. I'm just going to leave those in there for now. This one, uh, boop, appears empty. I'm not sure what was in that. Maybe there's a weapon here somewhere. I don't know. Maybe i got to go back and check that box. Okay, so next up we got, I believe this is like heavy duty or something. Um, surprisingly enough, someone that I didn't have. Uh, he's got the old, you know, the classic jiggle legs, but uh, I don't really care that much, especially for... Uh, you know, uh, who, 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 whoever figure, like, you know, 90s figures. Now, the Galobolus I'm interested in here because I guess he just pops back together. I've never actually seen one in half like this. Dear God, is that dirt? I hope I can clean that off. Um, okay. Or wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. He's got the wiggle arms, big time. Um, or maybe, okay, oh. Okay, he's falling apart. Okay, so maybe I just gotta replace the O-ring. I gotta... Okay, he seems loose. Okay, okay, okay. So I think I just open him up, pop that sucker back in there, and then tighten him up. So just for shipping purposes, I believe. So, okay, I dig it. I dig it. I think I figured it out. All right. Let's uh, not get too involved in that and huh, move that over there. Now, this one was a purchase. I think. I think I might have traded one thing. I don't remember. Oh, my God. There's a glider in here. Ugh. Is this anything, or is this just valuable space to... Yeah, it's just a 
space filler. Okay. So I believe we just got the one glider here. Oh, we got some mean dog legs in there. I see those mean dog legs. I needed those. And uh, that's a gun for something. Oh, I think that's a vamp gun, but I need the, uh, the peg next. I'm gonna have to free this glider from this bag so it doesn't get uh, too wrinkled up in here. But that's a cool glider. I've been really digging collecting those lately. I think that's my third or fourth one. Not 100% sure. So, and then we got a bag of figs. Now, I just gave old Fred my list and uh, he came back with a handful of guys I needed. So yes, this was a partial trade too. Cause, yeah, I traded, uh, I traded some of my good dudes. Now this guy I think I already had, but I couldn't remember, so uh, I just ordered them anyways. And look, look, there's one of these dudes with these, these face masks, but missing the mask. Similar to this guy. I mean, they start to just look alike, and I don't, I don't know. And then we got this guy. This is one of those 30th anniversary guys. Wasn't even familiar with this line until I saw this guy. So we'll throw him there. And then we got this uh, Scarlet that I took, yes, I remember I paid for her. Um, she's unfortunately got a broken crotch, but overall, she's actually in pretty good shape. Um, she's in better, turn, you monster. Okay, she doesn't want to turn. I don't know why her ass is sticking out all funny. Um, she's actually in better shape than mine. So I'm hoping to, uh, you know, monkey her together and oh God, make a nice one. And then, uh, you know, one of the glider pilots, I don't know if he goes to that one or not. I think he does. Not 100% sure. Uh, not bad overall. Minor paint wear. But I'll deal with it. And then, uh, you know, this Secto Viper, Sludge Viper, something Viper, whatever he's called. Alright, so again, all of these are from the, you know, the Joe Canada Club, uh, Traders Club, Facebook. Um, feel free to check it out. It's not just, you know, Canadian guys, but, um, you know, the bulk is. So let's get into this quick. And uh, this was another purchase I did off one of the members. He actually came down to my town and met me. Uh, most of these were shells. Uh, we got the Desert Fox. It was missing the front wheels. You can see I stuck some screws in it and I actually had a set of wheels on me, so I replaced the wheels. And then we got this, uh, I don't remember a lot of these 90s vehicles names, but either way, I was paying about five bucks each for them because they're missing, they're missing parts. Uh, this one is wasn't too bad, which I can't get out of the box. I always forget that that thing is a water gun. It's <laughs> one of the cheesiest things, and uh, that's definitely the time I got Ed of Joe's. Uh, another Battle Force 2000 thing, not too bad. Just missing one of the missiles, I believe, and one of the guns. Uh, another Battle Force 2000 vehicle missing the big top gun. Another Battle Force 2000. I think there's another piece that goes around that. And then we got the Mud Buster or whatever it is. Again, missing top guns, things like that. And then we got this badass in here. And I'm back. So what happened was uh, my memory card actually ran out of space. So uh, I was trying to hustle there because I knew I had uh, under a minute left and I didn't make it. So um, part two and it's just for the end anyway. So anyways, the last item was the, what I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, is the Ford America. Certainly nothing I remember um, when I was a kid. Again, I was at a G.I. Joe by the time Tiger Force was coming out. Uh, this thing is just awesome though. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen it before. I think it's just amazing how it all opens up. The only thing that really sucks about this, I'm not sure if it's missing something on the back or not. I haven't really looked into it yet. But the thing that uh, sucks is that it's missing one of these two treads. So as you can see, the treads are awesome. They pop up. So it can rise up beyond the wheels, but uh, I'm missing one. So I have to go looking for that. Could be interesting. Um, hopefully I can find one on eBay or one of the sites, but uh, this thing is actually really cool and I'm really impressed by it. I know I paid a little bit more for this one and I understand because it's a monster. So either way, that was um, my GI Joe trades uh, for the last few weeks. Now I know I got a huge box in just recently. Uh, I'm gonna save it for next time though because this video is already about 10 minutes long So this was about you know three or four trades uh, and purchases all together. So uh, I'll save the next one for next time And uh, it'll be it'll be a biggie. Um, there's gonna be lots of boxes in it um, Because I'm even gonna get a few more in and I'll save them all for that. It'll be a big box extravaganza. So uh, 
hey, check out the site, say hi, feel free to add me, whatever. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.